Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgi and today I'm going to show you a few useful tips and tricks when working with the Wokwant in Warwell 8. For the purpose of this video I have prepared a test database with some data, which we can work with. My example database contains the following, a table with developers and a table of donation for every developer. The developer table has a name, a company, an email of the developer, his text expertise, the date of birth, the registration date in the platform and the years of his experience. The donation table has a developer ID to which the donation belongs, the amount of the donation and the node to go with the donation. The front end of my example application contains a simple table showing the name of the developer, his age, his email, the company that he works for, the tech expertise, his experience, and the registration date. As you can notice, we also have this, the minimum amount of tip he received, the maximum amount of tip, the average tip he received, and the total tip. At the moment, the value of these fields is blank, and we will see throughout this video how to fill in this data. Besides the original where syntax, which you're most likely familiar with, whatever Wokon contains the so-called expressive where syntax. Let's see what this means. In our example, we have the following query. Give us all the developers where their tech expertise is equal to PHP and their company they work for is equal to man LLC. Using the where expressive syntax, we can rewrite this the following way. We can say where company and just say man LLC. If we save this and refresh, we'll see that the results are exactly the same. The expressive where syntax also works with fields with underscore. In this way, we should say where tech expertise equals to PHP. If we refresh, we will see the result is still the same. In Laravel, there are also a few where clauses which can help you to do a simple date filtering. Let's check them out. Let's say we want to display all the developers that are registered on the date of 18th of January 2021. In order to do this, we'll do the following. We'll add the following. Where date registration date equals 2021 18th of January. Let's save and refresh. As you can see now, we display everybody who have been registered at 18th of January. Let's say now we want to display everybody who have been registered in January 2021. Let's we'll change this to where month is equal to January and we also add where year registration date equals to 2021. This will show us everybody who have been registered in January 2021. The next thing we can do is we can display, for example, everybody who have been registered on the day of 30, 2021, no matter what is the month. In order to do this, we'll go and change the where month and we'll say where day 30. We'll save refresh and we see two people have been registered on the day of 30 2021 there is also a very easy way to show somebody based on the exact time at where they were registered let's look at our database let's pick one record and let's say we want to show everybody who have been registered at 18 44 and 08 seconds we will go back to our code and we will change the filter we'll say where time registration date is equals to 1844.08. Save, refresh, and we'll see the person who have been registering this time. Another useful where clause is the where between. The where between method verifies that a column value is between the two values. For example, let's display everybody with experience between three and six years. We'll say, where between years of experience 
three to six years. Save, refresh, and now we see everybody with experience between three and six years. There is also the opposite of the where between cause. It's called the where not between. With where not between, we can now select everybody who has experience not between three and six years. Let's see, say, refresh, and now we see everybody who has less than three years experience and more than six years of experience. The latest addition to the Warvel Eloquent are the very useful methods with some, with min, with max and with average. Let's see how they work. In our table we have a task to display the minimum tip paid to the developer, the maximum tip, the average tip and the total tips. Let's go to the code and see how we can do this. The donation of the developers in our database are stored in the donations table and the amount of every donation is under the amount column of the donation table. What do we need to do in order to display the minimum donation per the developer? We need to say with min and we add the table from which we are working donations and we add the field. Saving this, now we will have the accessor to access this data. We will go to our blade template and we will add developer donations min amount if we save this and refresh we will see now we have the minimum amount of every tip for every developer let's just format this number a little bit so it has only two digits after the decimal number format two save refresh that's better. Using the same logic, we can add the maximum amount, the average amount, and the total amount of the donation. Let's do it. We'll say with max donations amount, we also add with some donations amount, and we'll add with average donations amount. Now let's add those to the blade. We'll copy this and we'll say max amount. We'll copy here and we'll say average amount and we'll copy this and we'll say some amount. If we save, refresh, and now we see the minimum tip of this developer, the maximum tip, the average tip and the total tips received by the developer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post my next video. See you next time.